All right, what's going on, people? We are back with a new episode, Conscious Approach Podcast. As you can see, uh, we got a different look to everything. Um, if you follow in any of my socials, you've known that we've been working on sort of a new setup and equipment upgrade, just trying to up the production ante on the podcast so that we can take things to a new, to a new level. Plan is to still produce great content that we feel like people need to hear but we want to do it at a bigger and better level. So as you can see, we got all kinds of crazy stuff going on here that you can't see in the frame, but you know, uh, rest assured that we are fully committed to taking this platform to another level you know, on many fronts because we like the content that we create, we have fun doing it, and we also want to secure our freedom as well. So you know, we would be hypocrites if we sit up here making all of these videos talking about freedom and you know you know you know having the right mindset but we ain't trying to do the same thing and just elevating things to a new level so now that we got that out of the way um we are back with a new episode and uh with this new episode uh we thought that we would uh touch on a subject that we've talked about in the past we have various um subject areas that we talk about on the conscious approach podcast and, you know, relationships and women and all of that is among them. Now, I thought I gave it a second thought. Like, I thought twice about whether I wanted to do this mm -hmm. because I don't want to be someone who is dubbed one of those guys who doesn't like women, right? Or creates content that's anti-women because, listen... I am very pro woman. We we both are pro women, uh, yeah. but we also are truth tellers. Hey. Um, and you know, so I thought about it, and I said, "Now nah, to hell with it. We'll go ahead and do it because it's a fun thing to talk about." And if you look on YouTube or social media, there's plenty of anti man commentary all over the place. So I might as well just join the phrase. You know, I figure an eye for an eye. I think a, a couple of a couple of years ago, Jamel Hill used to be at ESPN. Yeah. She co-signed an article that was written by some black man where he talked about how the black men are the new white man for black women, basically insinuating that the modern day oppressors of black women are black men. Just completely ridiculous. But the point is, there's a lot of anti-man, particularly a lot of anti-black man mm -hmm. rhetoric and commentary out there on the interwebs. So at that point, I don't care. It's an eye for an eye. So we're just going to go ahead and make the video. Yeah. You had something you wanted to say? I just want to say, man, like my boy say, Anthony Spade say, we're not talking about all women. It might just feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, if, if you, you feel some type of way about the commentary, then maybe we're yourself, talking about right? you. Right, yeah. That's how you, exactly. that's how you do that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, exactly. it's a vice versa. Like, how, yeah. If something might apply to me, yeah, it, might, it. it might sting one way, yeah, you is. know, and so it is what it, it is. is. All you have to do is just reevaluate your set. That's it. That's it. So that, 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 that says everything straight. Yeah, right? absolutely. So, uh, you know, <laughs> T.I. T. made some comments on his Expeditiously podcast where he, uh, and I'm paraphrasing, he was basically saying that, you know, women like to make it seem as though they want a genuine man who is all about one woman and commitment and honesty. But really what they are attracted to is a man who has several options when it comes to women. Mm -hmm. uh, he, you know, said that no woman is attracted to a man who doesn't have to use his word of bitches. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, I wanted to do a video on that because, first of all, I thought that everything that he said was absolutely 100% unequivocally true. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as quietly as it's kept, mm -hmm. I think the reason why I think that we should spend some time doing this video is because I want to address what, in my opinion, I am seeing as a growing number of women who just are not honest with themselves. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether that lack of honesty comes from societal ex expectations of what they are supposed to do or who they are supposed to be mm -hmm. or what someone has told them or how they were raised. I don't know what the reason or the origin for it is, mm -hmm. but I feel like you have a, a growing faction of women who are walking, talking vessels of hypocrisy when it comes to uh, men and the type of men that they want relationships with because they often talk about how what they want is the type of man, the, the profile of the type of man that they often describe mm -hmm. in terms of what they want 
-hmm. is often the antithesis of what they find attractive, mm -hmm. particularly sexually. And in my brief years on this earth and in my experience, what I've learned is that uh, most women are going to respond more so to what gives them that raw sexual physical attraction because they are attracted to what excites their emotions. Mm -hmm. And so the key is not to try and downplay that, but to just be honest with that and stop making it seem as though what you want is something other than what you actually are attracted to. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, that's the point of what I got from what T.I.'s comments were. And I thought that they were true. Like a woman wants a man who has options because to her, to, to her a man with options, she gleans that man to be desirable. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I desire him because he is desirable to other women. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. If you are not desired by other women, it gives me no, in no incentive to be desired by you. Mm -hmm. I feel that my internal worth is lowered if I find myself attracted to a man who is not desired by other women. Mm -hmm. It's very true. It's very sensible. Mm -hmm. So from that standpoint, I thought that what T.I. had to say was on the money. Yeah, I mean, like, that was true what he said. But the thing is, like you say, you know, we always try to, I try to take things a little deeper. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the thing is, what T.I. didn't admit is a man with quote unquote bitches most likely has a more toxic life than a healthy life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, like, the thing is, I feel like what I'm witnessing is nowadays, especially with social media and all that stuff that we're going through, it, with men and women, there's a real huge insecurity problem going on these days in society. And that's partially because of social media, because mm -hmm. we tend to look at other people's profile and somehow we tend to think now that like Instagram is reality, social media is reality. So you see this girl who looks such and such, she don't work, she don't do this. And another girl feel like, oh, I look good, I should do that. But that's not the reality, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So we're not distinguishing what the reality is. And I think that people won't admit this because I guess it, it takes a little bit more self-understanding to know that like the reason women ask that they want the good guy who they want to marry and do all those things but the truth be told is, is like if you're not wholesome with yourself bro you're gonna have some toxic things so like they want the guy who has the women because that's more toxic that's what they're more used to what they want is not you can't ask for something that you're not mm -hmm. and that's what people tend to do people say i want to be successful but you're not getting up working you're not doing extra hours you want a man to treat you like this but like on your Instagram, every picture has your ass out, whatever it is. So, like, you know, it's a it's an unbalanced, and it sucks because it's tricky, and I can't change it, but I, that's just, this is how I see it through my lens, you know what I mean? But I think that's what it comes down to. So, like, T.I. says that part, but he don't mention that it's toxic. And knowing T.I., T.I. came from toxic situations. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, it's true, but that don't mean it's... He, he said it don't mean it's right or wrong, right. but it's more toxic than not. Yeah. And it's like... Chicks want that guy, so you feel like, well, I took, like, what, like, the City Girl song, yeah. I take your nigga, or something like, whatever yeah. it is. Like, like, so there's this whole <laughs> cloud over society thinking that it's cool if I take your female or he, she take, you know, your man. And it's just crazy to me, but it mostly falls on the insecurities, and people won't admit that, especially with girls. You know, women are a little more emotional than guys, and I think that it just sucks because, I mean, it's hard to really decipher. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, um, I think that well, you, you bring up the city girls and stuff like that. I think that that is a modern manifestation of an attempt to destroy gender roles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's funny because all, all, all people like city girls and Megan Stallion, Megan and Stallion like the, all that is, is the female version of what, used to be the male rhetoric, particularly when it comes to the music. Mm -hmm. Because for the longest that I can remember listening to the music, I've heard nothing but I'll take your bitch, I'll, you know, I'll mm -hmm. smash your bitch, I'll do this right. and do that and all that kind of stuff. So all that is is just the equivalent of that from a woman's point of view. And it comes from that sense of wanting to be on the same playing field. So men have been allowed to be smut and it's socially acceptable, and we want to be on the same playing field as men. Therefore, we are going to try to force a situation or an environment in which it is socially acceptable for women to be smut as well. And my thing is, if that's what you want to do, I don't care. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Be My whole thing is, I don't like, like City Girls and Megan Thee Stallion, you can say what you want about their commentary or their music. I'm not a fan of any of that. Mm -hmm. 
particular brand of music. But if they live that in their own private lives, then I have to respect them mm. because at the very least, they are honest with who they are as people in terms of their character and they're living that in reality. Now, you can agree or disagree with the fact that they've chosen to live that way. But the fact of the matter is my point when it comes to all of this stuff is people in general, but specifically when it comes to this subject matter, women aren't honest enough with who they are and what they look for in a man. If half of them who claim to want or look for a good man actually wanted a good man, they would have one. Mm -hmm. It's not that hard to acquire. It, it really isn't. It's the reason it. why you don't have it is because you don't really want that. I firmly believe that. Or you don't fit that criteria to have a good man. Oh, okay, but you, uh, I, I, I hear that, but I think that there are a lot of and particularly with us, you know, with, with, with black people, the black culture, mm -hmm. I think you have a lot of respectable, good black men walking around out here who will wife the girl that you say might not have the qualities requisite in one who is seeking a good man because we are afflicted with that as a, as a people where there is a dearth of quality on either side, so you'll take what you can get so long as you find them physically attractive. So, so from that standpoint, if that's what you want, I go back to my original premise, you would have it if that's really what you were after. The reason why you don't have it is not because there is a lack of them or because they don't exist or because they don't want you. No, you don't want them. You don't want those types of men and it's, Fine. It's it's just time that you just come to terms with that. Like, just be honest with what it is that you're looking for. And if you really want to make a change, the first step to making a change, like you like to say, is self awareness. So you become aware of what it is that you're really about, and then at that point, you can institute the appropriate steps necessary to make those changes for yourself. If that's really what you want, I personally just find myself skeptical these days, just based on what I'm seeing around me as to whether that is what they actually want. I think that's what they want. Oh, everybody does. Everybody wants utopia when it comes to relationship guys. Like everybody wants to I think perfection and utopia are two different things. I think I think I'm gonna let you keep going, but I think that when women talk about wanting a and I hate to use the term good. I don't like good guy, respectable guy, whatever the, whatever the case may be, but you know what I'm getting at. I think when women talk about that, what they're really saying is, I want a perfection that is that I am actually hard pressed to find. So I want the guy who looks the way I want him to look and acts the way I want him to act, but he's also somebody who is respectable only after a committed relationship with one woman and has and makes legal money and is God fearing. And oftentimes, like you're not gonna find all of those qualities inherent in one individual. Like that. So what you're actually seeking is perfection, but you're masking it as I'm actually after a good man. But I think it's just like you say, especially in the black community, especially like a lot of us grew up, a lot of guys, young men grew up with our fathers. And I think the same thing happened with females, especially black community. Like I think if more females had active father, active roles of their fathers in their life, yeah. then they would understand how to maybe attract because the father should be able to say, listen, like Muhammad Ali told his daughter that one time, he said she came in the house and she was wearing like a real short dress and to put it in a short, he just basically was saying like pearls and stuff were deep down in, in the earth and you got to dig fine and he put it in a way like cover yourself up because you're pearls. So yeah. these, these females don't have a male guy that's just like, Men don't have male guys, Correct. especially amongst the black community. Right. So we are coming from toxic situations that are just, unfortunately, like you said, inherent, and and that's what we tend to take to it. So it's like when they recognize when a good guy comes along, the only thing they think of is like city girl and use him because that's not what they're normal. Mm -hmm. So they can say, okay, I can go over here and get Pookie, mm -hmm. and then I can come over here and get him for the money and stuff, and he gonna feed my ego. He's gonna help me tell me all the nice stuff, how pretty I am, right. even though I'm not, I know I'm insecure, and I go over here to Ray Ray and get it. So like I said, they're trying to get the best of both worlds, but it's like you said, if you don't recognize something, it's hard to accept it. Yeah. And I think a lot of females don't recognize a good guy because they so pressed on as soon as the dude comes across being nice, they think, oh, he's trying to be nice just because whatever reason, they don't understand there are guys out here who will, be 
cordial yeah. with you. Yeah. That was said, well, you 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 getting real deep with it, bro, but I really believe on a on a on a basic level, not getting too, you know, caught up in the minutia of the, you know, the the, the socioeconomic, you know, um the socioeconomic implications or the upbringing and the environmental implications. I think on a basic level, what we don't accept enough as men and women, and what I think women don't accept enough, in my opinion, is women are just attracted. Like, I think on an, on an animalistic level, men are attracted to women who exhibit feminine characteristics. Mm -hmm. So, you know, women get bent out of shape all the time about guys who like women who have the nice bodies or the long hair or like the soft facial features. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times what they refuse to understand is the fact that those are instinctively characteristics that men perceive to be feminine. Mm -hmm. So we're more attracted to that because we are just as masculine men, we are attracted to women who are feminine mm -hmm. and who exhibit feminine characteristics. Mm -hmm. I think that works in reverse on women's side, but for different reasons. I think women are attracted to men who exhibit masculine characteristics. And I think one of the masculine characteristics that women find attractive is a man who has multiple options because they perceive it to be desirable, mm -hmm. period. Women want a man who is desirable because it gives them validation based on, it gives them validation of their dating choices. I am into this guy who is desirable. How do I know he's desirable? Because other women find him desirable. Therefore, it gives me the validation that I need to go forth with this guy because he's desirable. And desirability, in my opinion, is a masculine quality that women seek in men. I got you. So like on a basic level, women are just after, women like guys who, who got bitches for, 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 for a litany of other dysfunctional yeah. reasons, but also for justifiable reasons, the fact that he is perceived by them to be desirable. I got you. So I'm trying to, because, all right, so I'll, maybe, how does a female keep up with a dude that has bitches? Like, how does he know he has multiple bitches? That's what I'm saying. How does she know that? That's the dysfunctional part. So that's where the dysfunctional part comes in. It, it doesn't make, look, I'm not trying to say that. No, 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 I'm trying to yeah. ask a question. I hear you. I'm saying they said, if he got bitches, so like, how do you know this man has, so, so like, I don't, so how did, like, how did, are you watching this man for two years while he dates multiple women and you just stop him? No, you know, you know, bro, like social media, Instagram, all of this, we be going out to these bars and places all the time. Like these women watch and they like, and I guess women talk. Yeah. So if you, if a dude maybe smash, word gets around. Yes. They, they know and they talk. So, but the thing is women are very intuitive. So, and they're actually far more intuitive than we are yeah, as men. Absolutely. We are way more practical. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. are intuitive and emotional. Yeah, I'll so, just, just, just. so a woman does not have to know he smashed that, he smashed that, he smashed that. She can just be in the same place as you on a regular basis over an extended period of time for long enough to observe your actions and mannerisms. So if you are in the... Like, let's say you go to the same hangout spot every Saturday yeah. and she there every Saturday. She's watching you, bro. Yeah. You might not know. Women never make it obvious, right? Know, they yeah. don't make it obvious, but they're watching you. Yeah. She's watching you. So say, okay, this she, here. she's seeing you hug this one, hug that one, say hi to this one, shake yeah. this one. Here. So she's seeing that over the yeah. course of six months, maybe. So boom, yeah. right there. Oh, he must be interesting to these women in some regard. Yeah, yeah. So therefore, I'm interested. That's how they do that. But the thing about it is, and this is where the dysfunctionality comes into play, it, it, it ultimately comes to a head because they 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 are attracted to you because you are desirable and you have several options but when they have selected you as their choice it's like they want you to turn that off and all of a sudden not have options anymore and only focus on them yeah. and that's when it doesn't make sense yeah. because at that point you're asking for the impossible yeah, yeah. the very same thing that attracted you to this guy in the first place you're now asking him to cut that aspect of his personality 
out that you just witnessed for six How months. How does that work? You just witnessed this man had that for six months. Yeah. And he gets with you and you think it's supposed to stop. Six exactly. Months, like, and it doesn't, doesn't make, make any sense. sense. It's like getting a car a car with four wheels and expecting not to go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, it doesn't like, make sense. <laughs> like, like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. There's dysfunctionality inherent there, but a lot of these things that we touch on are just, these are just things that don't really make sense in society, but nevertheless, they are true. Like we're evolved, we're an evolved species of animal and that adds a certain layer of complexity to our actions and behaviors that you don't see in other, frankly, animals, not even communities, but like, like look at look 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 you know like like a a dog don't be a dog exactly a dog like with one female and eight that's it they, and that's boom 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 but like look at like a peacock for example you know I don't want to break it down to compare it to animals yeah, but I'm just trying to make a point yeah, like a, a female peacock is attracted to a male peacock that has the biggest brightest you know tail display because you know how peacocks yeah, do that yeah, yeah, totally. so the male the male peacock that that is able to spread its tail mm-hmm. the 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 brightest and the furthest is going to have his pick of the litter when it comes to mates. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing with us. Like, like our desirability to a woman is tantamount to a peacock's tail, to a male so peacock right. tail's feather yeah. spread. You know, it, I know that it's, you know, I can make it, I'm not a biologist, you know, I'm just using that as an example. But a lot of times it just boils down to a matter of what instinctively is people we find attractive. The problem comes in and what makes relationships so difficult nowadays is the dysfunctionality that gets infused into the situation when you suddenly expect that guy to stop being who he is just because he's dealing with you, even though that thing that got you attracted to him in the first place is what you want him to stop doing. It's no different than if I'm attracted to girls in the club who bust it wide open I'm an idiot to wife you because I'm going to wife you and want you to not bust it wide open no more. Mm-hmm. And are you going to stop busting it wide open? In all likelihood, no, yeah. if that's something that's really in you. Yeah. So at that point, that's egg on my face. That's on me. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that's really what that's what this boils down to. And that's I feel like that's what T.I. was on. I just have an issue with women who try to make it seem like it's yeah. something other than that. It's like, just be honest. Like, if you like a guy who's who is attract who who other women find attractive, then just own up to that and operate within that realm as best you can. But don't sit around putting it out here in the streets that you want a nine to five respectable guy who's only into a committed long term relationship with one woman because that's not what makes you tingle. That's not what gets yeah. you going. But that, that, that women definitely don't want that these days. Nine to five. They want fast money, fast cars, and fast clothes and clothes, jewelry. You know, I go, but you know, I ain't mad at nobody for living their life how they want to live their life. But like you say, y'all, I know me, like I was telling you, I've had my experiences with females and so, you know, hey, I just believe in like if we not if you don't want me, before we play games, just cut it off. Yeah, but that requires honesty. So it's you. I mean, and you so might, I, yeah, you I, might I, bring your eyes to the I, table. Yeah, I'm gonna bring mine to the table. Okay, but 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 it takes two to tango. So I think it's but unfortunate. You know like a lot of women. The good thing is though, it's right. like it's like the thing is, you know, I bring my eyes to the table, and it might turn her away. Right. But at the end of the day, there's a little seed that she got some honesty, and that's what they need. Yeah. Because the problem is they're not getting enough honesty. Oh no, no. You know no, what I'm saying? No. They're not getting enough honesty. No. You got too many guys, damn DM and girls who they never met across the world. <laughs> Doing all this stuff and nobody be real with them and tell them like this is not what it's supposed to be. So you be real with them and they don't want it. But at least you was the one that can yeah, real with them. I feel you. you I agree. Dream? I agree with that. And you know, I the reason why another reason why I wanted to do this video is because like I know that this is something that is true, and I know that it's true because in addition to my observations, I have firsthand experience with this. Mm-hmm. So like a quick story. Mm-hmm. This is what I learned that this is something that's actually true. Mm-hmm. So. Many years ago, uh, me and my homeboy D, you know who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. We was, you know, we was we, we was back home. We was in Miami for I, I believe it was Thanksgiving. Uh, it was Thanksgiving. It was a Thanksgiving break. Mm-hmm. So we was both in Miami on a Thanksgiving break. I think it was a Friday night. We was out at the club hanging out. Now me and him, we kind of hanging out on the dance floor. This girl comes up to me and starts dancing with me, right? Mm-hmm. So it was her and her friend, and it was me and D. Long story short. We all ended up hanging out the rest of the weekend. Mm-hmm. We had a good little time. Uh, I'll spare you the details, but we had a good mm-hmm. little time, right? So 
she was a graduate. She graduated from FAM. Mm -hmm. And she was from the same place we from. She was home in that in-between phase while she was getting ready to leave for her job. Mm -hmm. She was in the medical field. She was getting ready to move to Orlando because she had gotten a job in the medical field. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we kept in touch after she moved to Orlando, texting, phone calls here and there, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So the first holiday break, I believe, after she moved to Orlando, this was like a year later, mm -hmm. I hit her up asking her if she was going to be in town. She was like, yeah, I'll be down there around this date. And I was like, oh, cool. I'll be, over down, I'll be down there around the same day. So the schedule's a lot. So I'm like, okay, let's hang out. Mm -hmm. So me and her, we linked up. We hanging out. So you know, you know the Hard Rock down there in Hollywood? Mm -hmm. So we down there at the Hard Rock. And this was back when... Uh, the Hard Rock used to have a lot of retails and restaurants and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I understand, they've kind of redone it, and it's all about the hotel and casino, mm -hmm. and they don't got all of the clubs and other things that they had down there before. So me and her was hanging out at this club down there called Bongos at, on the Hard Rock. Mm -hmm. And we hanging out, we chilling, we drinking, we having a good little time. So we standing in front of the bar. All of a sudden, this group of girls walks by us. And I was looking at one of the girls, something like that, and she was looking too. Mm -hmm. So she turned to me and she was like, uh, you think you can get one of those girls' number? Now, mind you, I'm hanging out with you. Yeah. So she was like, you she was like, I want to see you get one of her one of those girls' number. Really? Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, are you serious? So you want, even though I'm here with you, you want me to, you're giving me permission to go and get a girl's number. Mm -hmm. She was like, Yeah, I want to see you in action. I want to see if you can get her number. She wanted to know whether I was or not. to get her number so that it could validate her decision to hang out with me. So I had she put me on the spot. I had to go into this elevator and get this girl's number. Now I was able to get it by the grace of God. I was yeah. <laughs> I was able to get the girl number, and I came back up into the I came back up and I showed her the number. I was like, yeah, I got her number, and it was like she felt content. Because I was able to get the girl, and the girl was cute, you know, she she looked good. So it was like she was she felt content enough to continue to talk to me because I got that girl's number. So for her, her perception of me as desirable was validated because I was able to get that girl's number. And I learned in that instant, yeah, she might think I'm cute or whatever the case may be, but if she feels like I am not wanted by other females. She herself is not going to want me. Sure. And she's not alone. I feel like, and this transcends race. This is more than, right, yeah. this is all, I feel like most modern women who are westernized. So if you are in any kind of westernized culture or society, whether it's over in Europe or over here in the States, Canada, wherever, most modern women who grow up within a westernized context, they think the same way. Most of them. Now, you'll find exceptions here and there, but for the most part, I feel like this is something that is tantamount to most women's ideology. Yeah, and, like, and it, it's real. That's why what T.I. What said was real. Yeah. Now, you can talk about chauvinism no, and no, toxic no, masculinity. No, no, no. I know you're not, but you have a lot of these weird old feminist women out here who want to talk, and some of these beta males, too, yeah. who want to talk about all of this feminism and all of this that toxic lie. masculinity stuff. No. All we're doing is giving the people what they want. This is what the women want. Oh, and like, you know what I know now that I've been me, and this happened to me today, I would have told her, listen, are you that insecure? <laughs> and if so, you know what I'm saying, go get the other 10 dudes in your DM. But yeah. I'm, not, I'm not going to get no number. Right. If you feel that insecure by hanging right. out with me, then go hang out with John down the street. Right. And I was a little younger. Yeah, yeah, I was so, saying, that's yeah, that, 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 Let's go. Yeah. Or you can take a Uber. Yeah. If you feel like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't that serious. I got to prove it to you. If you feel like you shouldn't be with me and there's a better option, please have at it. Yeah. Facts. You know? Facts, man. And that's what we got to understand. At the day, bro, the grass, you know, is green on the other side. And yeah. everybody, we all as humans tend to think that, but a lot of females tend to think that the grass is green on the other side. Yeah. So go ahead and get with the 30 dudes in your inbox. And the truth is you don't want them because they keep inboxing you. You're right. <laughs> Y'all don't want them guys in the inbox. It's not no secret. We yeah. know they, we know dudes in the inbox. I see it all the time. I, I get, um, I be amazed every day. Something I just actually cruise. I see a girl with a picture or something. And I just be amazed at how many dudes be coming and the mm -hmm. stuff that they come in the post. I be it's like, ridiculous. dudes really 
oh, can I come on? Like, you going to let me get that? Like, bro, you in Wisconsin. She's in South Florida. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> so and so for a guy to do that, you, you got to imagine what that do to a female psyche because she's like, this dude way in Wisconsin. He has no shot at getting me. So she feel like if you in her presence, you definitely ain't got no shot. Yeah. And they get that affirmation several times every day. Because you got all these betas. Yeah, blue like, pill. Blue pill. Yeah. You know what blue I'm saying? Pill, blue man. pill, man. And, and what's so sad about the blue pilled beta males, because I feel like at this point they outnumber the red pills. Definitely. Like three or four to one. Definitely. What's so sad is you got so many of these beta males who are acquiring resources. And so they are flooding the market with their beta mentality okay. because they're able to get the attention of you the women because little, they got the money and the go, resources. Yeah, let me take me here. Yeah. Take, take my credit card and yeah. go there. And do what you do. do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 50-50. Uh, yeah. I ain't even going to mention no names, but it's sad. Yeah, I it ain't really no is. I ain't trying to do nobody to bust, bust. No, yeah, I get it. Well, I was talking about famous people. Oh, oh you know, yeah. that's, that's a... That's, no, like I just saw what rapper you saw that video with uh -huh. Osiris. No, nah. he said someone YouTube. I saw two videos a couple days ago. He was like, "Bro, y'all dudes don't get it. These girls don't want you. Can't buy them no bag. You can't pay their rent. They don't want you." This is KY Osiris. Yeah, right, right. Like you preaching a beta mentality, bro. <laughs> and I get it because I get like if you my lady, I have no problem with like treating my lady right. Like Absolutely. I'm not saying I'm not gonna spend no money on my lady. Yeah, but the thing that you have to buy females clothes, pay rent, and and they true because I see it on I see it on Facebook. I don't say, bro. I see a lot of times if you can't pay my rent, if you ain't cash apping me, it's like, bro, do you not work? Yeah. What you is want, your you work? want you want a good quality man, a good quality man or a high value man is a guy who is working and earning legal money or has his own business. Or something, so he don't understand and giving you anything. Right. And you want a high value man. Yeah. Like you want a high value That's man. What you, you, claim to, you, want. you want a high value. You got to be high value. I can't cash at you for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> like it don't make no sense. It doesn't. It like doesn't. I don't see TikTok. It's cash ridiculous. at like girls put cash app in their bio like it's a, like it's a goddamn working Go, like, a, like a GoFundMe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just it's there's an entire gen. There are several at this point. We are in the throes of two to three generations worth of women who basically earn a living and get affirmation just based solely off of the sake of their existence. And the thing about it is, it shouldn't be like that. It's no, it shouldn't be like <laughs> that. But I hold most responsible the men because the men set the tone. Like if we don't acquiesce to this then it wouldn't happen. But there's just too many of us who are weak-minded and don't think for ourselves and just take this role because we feel like that's what we need to do in order to beg this woman for her attention and time. I ain't want to say no name, but we know the guy, but dude told me. I, I said, boy, every time you turn around, you got a new girlfriend. Man, I just can't be alone. That's sad. That's sad. That's sad. that's sad. Yeah, that's sad. And that's that's a big thing about society today. Is where everybody feel like they missing out. Everybody got to be part of something. Everybody feel like people don't know how to be alone. Yeah. Like you'll never see me post a post on no social media platform saying I'm bored. Yeah. When I see people post it, I'll be like, like really, like yeah. you're bored, like. Bro, what are you? You're not like 12 years. Like, you're bored, bro. It's something to do. What you doing? Yeah. Like, you should be working on that dream. Yes. You should be writing that yes. song. Yeah. You should be, yeah, there should be something to do that you can work towards your progressive future yeah. other than to get on social media and say you're bored. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess you I guess you watch Netflix and people don't build. chill every yeah. day all day, you're going to get bored. Yeah, no, we're not, we don't have enough builders. And the men who are builders, are far too often, unfortunately, Just, called lame yeah. until they build it and then they ain't lame no more. And then, right? You got betas, the ones who have built, and then they end up getting tore down yeah. because they gave it to a chick who, once she realized she don't really like them, then right. she divorced him and take everything yeah. and then put, you, the, put, all that put you in a wild world, world spin. But, yeah. like I say, man, we ain't talking about all women. It just might feel like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you feel a certain type of way about the commentary, then maybe you should think take about it. yourself. Twice. That's it, bro. Yeah. It's simple. Yeah, that's it. But... You know, um, we gonna go ahead and close it out. You know, I feel like that was a good first video for our first foray back into the saddle with our new setup. We got lights, we got boom mics, we got all kinds uh, of stuff going real on. Real production, yeah. real, real yeah. production, real. yeah, yeah. We building for real, like we we really building something. So 
You know, the point of this, as I've said many times in the past, I don't care about whether you agree with me or think I'm right. The point is to start freeing your mind and thinking logically. We got to break out of the groupthink mentality. You have to learn how to think for yourself. Do not formulate an opinion about any subject because you think that that's the right opinion to have because everyone else has that opinion too. All that does is set us back. And that applies in every aspect of life, whether it comes to social issues, relationships, I don't give a damn what we talking about sports. Stop feeling like you have to have the same opinion as everybody else, either because they look like you or are the same age as you or whatever the case may be. We got to get out of that. Um, and, you know, especially for us as black people, because we're marginalized enough as it is and you're not going to acquire the freedom that you see without building something. And you're not going to be a builder if you are a group thinker. You have to be able to think for yourself. Um, so whether that comes to select, you know, you want to that girl, if you feel like that girl ain't got the values that you're looking for, to the curve. as she is, to the curve. stop worrying about it. The guy who does get her attention, no, she's happy. dysfunctional and he's a beta. No, so they belong together no. and just live with it. You need to be secure in, this, in, this, in the decisions that you make on a daily basis. Block. Period. That's Block. it. Block, Block them. Top tick, top. Toxicity <laughs> has to be blocked. <laughs> yes. And like yes. I said, there's a reason that there is called the five percenters, and then we got the 95 percenters, which a lot of us are yeah. naturally occupying because that, yeah. we are more satisfied with the fact that I can buy the same AirPods that a thousand people done bought and walk around and be like, hey, look at my AirPods, mm -hmm. as opposed to being the person who says, you know what, I'm going to create these AirPods yes. and give it to the people. Yes. You know, so, but mindset over everything, like mm -hmm. say, man, first day back, yeah. first day out, you know, first but, uh, <laughs> but like, yeah, but, you know, like, Man, it's, yeah. hey, be a free thinker and like say what we say, just take it and you can take it and run with it, take it with a grain of salt. But at the end of the day, like no matter who you are, women, female, if you insecure, if you're not, if you can't look in the mirror and accept who you are wholeheartedly, yeah. you'll never be finding that quality man or woman that you're looking that for. That you period. claim to be looking for. Because I still am skeptical of how yeah. honest they are about the fact that that's what they want. But uh, you can go ahead and close it out, man. Uh, check us out on the podcast. I mean, on the website. ConsciousApproach.com. You can find me on Instagram at JV Wins. You can find me on Facebook. Search first and last name. You can find my boy Dade on Instagram at, th at uh, 305 underscore and underscore beyond. Also check out PVO. The website is PVO.apparel. Um, PVO.apparel.store. And the Instagram is PVO.apparel. Big things coming with PVO, man. So please... Oh. He's a modest guy, so he doesn't talk a lot about what January he has going 14, on. January 14th, that's yeah. it. Broadway that's, being the city. Yeah. January 14th, yeah. Broadway being the yeah, he gonna be, he, So y'all come out. Right, right. Yeah, he, he big things coming, man. I'm, yeah. I couldn't be more proud of the moves that he's making, man. We are builders, and we preach a builder's mentality. We will continue to do so. If you like it, cool. If you don't like it, cool. But at the end of the day, Respect the process. And positive vibes only. Positive vibes only, man. YouTube at Conscious Approach, ConsciousApproach.com. Uh, we are going to be here to stay. We're going to continue to create this content. It's not going to stop. Uh, we look to have guest contributors on the platform as well. We got a third chair. We moving up, man. We're doing bigger and better things. So as time moves along, we ask that you move along with us. And until next time, keep it moving, man. Um, we will see you later. Man. We out of there. Assalamu alaikum.